I think that's the end of it. Ness... Rataka, I've mourned you for five years. Why didn't you let me know you were alive? I had a new life. I wasn't going back. Not even for you, Amadis. The way Amadis talked about your time together, I thought you'd still care about him. It was five years ago. I didn't abandon you. Before the battle, I tried to get Gadiah to call off the attack, but of course, he didn't listen. I ended up killing him. Then he got what he deserved. I ran for the battlefield to find you. But you were already gone by the time I got there. I didn't know. But even if I did, I mourned you, and then I moved on. If you were brought here as a prisoner, how did you become Tanakh? I knew it was only a matter of time before the Tanakh killed me and the others who were held captive. But one day, one of their soldiers stopped in front of my cell, asked how a woman had ended up fighting for the Mad Sun King. As he spoke, I realized he was once Karja. Vashav. I heard how he fell at the embassy. He deserved a better death than that. The other prisoners he condemned to death, but he convinced the Tanakh to let me fight for my life. I won through blood and blade. I became Rataka and never looked back. You were willing to wear a disguise so that you could serve in the Karja army. Do you miss being Karja at all? No. The Red Raids showed me there was no honor in fighting for the Karja. And when my comrades and I were brought here as prisoners, we knew no one would ever come for us. I would have. Had I known. It's better this way. Beneath my Karja armor, I found I had the blood of a Tanakh. So if you became Tanakh, how did you end up as a prisoner here again? My squad was ordered to retake the rock from Regala's rebels. We failed. Considering how much Regala seems to hate the Karja, I'm surprised her rebels let you live. You're right. I'd be dead if they knew. But few Tanakhs remember who I once was. What will you do now? You've taken back the rot. My squad will ensure it stays that way. So this is it? After everything we've been through, this is goodbye? It has to be. My place will always be here, and yours is back east. I'm sorry that you've suffered. You deserve better than how the last five years have treated you. I'll make sure you're granted safe passage out of the lowland. Consider it Nessa's final farewell. At least now you know the truth. Somehow it hurts worse. You must think I'm an idiot. No, I just think you have a lot to figure out. I'll take you back east to the Sendim. After that, I don't know. Talana, I understand. I'm sorry it came to this. Me too. Give me an Aloy a moment. Are you all right? To be honest, no. What's going to happen between you two? I'm not sure. He clearly has a lot more feelings to sort through, and I won't be anyone's second choice. I want you to have this, for seeing this through with me. No hog could ask for a better thrush, or a better friend. So, I guess this is it then. You're heading back east. I think I'll hang around Baron Light for a while, before returning to Meridian. If you find yourself back that way, look for me there. I will. Safe travels, Talana. Maybe I should check in with her the next time I'm at Baron Light. It seems like she could use a shoulder to lean on.
I'm guessing Amadis went on his way? We parted once we were inside the gates. I promised I'd see him back to the Sundom, and I did. I'm sorry you went through all of that just to break things off in the end. I'm not. Really. I don't want to be with him while he's still holding on to Nessa. Maybe he'll never let go. Or maybe when he's figured himself out. Ugh, who knows? All I can say right now is that there's no one quite like him. That sounds... <laughs> complicated. Taking down a Thunderjaw is easier. One day you'll know what I mean. I don't know about that. That's what I used to say. As for me, I have the Hunter's Lodge to get back to. Thresh's to train, bigoted nobles to boot out. But hey, look, the one good thing out of all of this mess was that I got to spend time with you again. I'll miss you, Talana. Well, whenever you take down a big machine out there, just remember that I'm back east taking down something bigger. <laughs> okay, you're on. Come here. Until we meet again. like a path. Someone painted those markings with great care. I think this is a memorial. Must be for a beloved friend. Someone left a note. Here we remember our friend, with a view as calming as his voice, on stone as strong as his spirit. He was not just our rock, he was our oak, sturdy and stoic whose presence brought us comfort, and whose branches touched us all. Rest in peace. It sounds like he's truly missed. <laughs> 